Hey, what's going on, beautiful people, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Andre, and welcome to House of Colors. And today's guest visit, we're sitting with R.O.E. Juan. What up, what up? And we're just gonna have a game segment. You know, for the questions, I'm pretty sure you guys may know of, would you rather or never have a ever? So we're just gonna sit down and just, we're just gonna have fun with him. So um, R.O.E. Juan, just, you know, just be yourself. Make sure you answer every question 100% with honesty and just have fun today, you know? Yeah, we just wanna sit down and just have fun. All right, so. It's fun to be here too. Yeah, no question. So, uh, one of the questions then is for would you rather? We got, okay. Would you rather walk on a tightrope in a stormy night and get struck by lightning? Or would you rather skydive with just your underwear on when it's below 30 degrees outside? See, the thing about that, I don't do lightning, nor I do heights. But if I had to pick one, I would pick the rope because I can't do heights in the air. I just can't. It's just not me. Okay. Okay. Um, we have another one. Okay. Okay. I like this one. You can tell he's a very uh, anime fan. So this one comes from Daniel Thompson. He's from Anne Arundel, Maryland. He asks, would you rather be an earthbender or a firebender? First of all, have you seen the cartoon um, Avatar the Last Airbender? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Right. Uh, uh, that's a tough one. I probably would probably go with fire. That's why? why? Yeah, okay. Okay, why? Well, you know, I always, you know, not to sound any creepy or anything, but I always been a fan of fire. You feel like? Okay. I always been a fan of that. All right. And then doing this, you know, game time, we're going to mix it up. We're not just going to do like, yeah. would you rather all the questions, we're just going to mix it up. Right. So another would you rather question we have, let's see. Uh, okay, this comes from Vashti, and she's from Baltimore, Maryland. She asks, would you rather fight Mike Tyson or Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Money uh, made. Man, two great boxes for real. Yeah. Uh, I probably would have to go with Floyd, even though I know it's not gonna be an easy fight. But I picked Floyd over Mike because for one thing, man, Floyd around like the same height, same size, so it probably I probably have a lower chance against him. So I definitely would have to go against Floyd, and plus he's my favorite boxer of all the time. So I definitely would have to pick Floyd. So is there anything you're trying to avoid from Mike? I don't know many reasons why I would. <laughs> Nah, nah, man, when I step inside the ring with Mike, he just... Oh, you a brave man. Yeah. You are a brave man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, another would you rather question. I like this one. It's kind of weird in a way, but, I mean, come on. Alright, so, would you rather dress up as Hello Kitty for 72 hours, or would you rather have Elmo's laugh stuck in your head for the rest of your life? Oh man, be yeah. Hello Kitty. Hey, I can't. Nah, I got tired of Elmo. Dear God, Elmo, no, stop! Stop! <laughs> I got tired of laughing when I was a child, so okay. I definitely do Hello Kitty. And plus, it's not that long, so ain't nothing. Make like 70 hours. So you can really see yourself riding a Hello Kitty costume. I mean, it's only 72 hours, so why not? Mm. Are you ready for all the consequences that might come with that? <laughs> hey. People, well, like most people already know who I am, so it shouldn't really be that much, but I, trust me, I know I'm at the face I'll take you on that bet. Yeah, I'll take you on that bet. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to switch over to some uh, have I ever, um, never have I ever question. So, alright, uh, this one comes from Jessica Falcon, and she comes from, and she's, she said that she's from Brandon City, South Dakota. Right, so, right. uh, she takes. <laughs> Never have I ever sent a dirty text to a wrong person. Uh, yeah. So you, was, you ne have you ever did it or never did it? So never have you ever sent a dirty text to the wrong person. Like I said, be honest. So yeah, I did. Did? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <tried> it. <laughs> We're human. It happens. Hey. It happens. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Um, let's see another one. This one comes from Sarah Jones and she's from Manhattan, uh, New York. She asks, uh, never have you ever had a fight with a sibling? Plenty of times. Me and my sisters, they used to stay going at it over the most 
dumbest things. So yeah, I definitely had fights before. Right? What's some of the stuff if you can elaborate on? Uh, who's and mommy's favorite? Uh, yeah, touching each other items. Yeah, and just stuff like that. Like just simple stuff that any seven is about to fight over. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Never have you ever been catfished? No. No? Well, I didn't really get caught in the woods Well, never have you ever been catfish. Uh, you know, catfish is when a person um, disguises or proposed himself as another person. So say for you got like a Facebook, a person got a Facebook. Oh, no, 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 no. And they got that picture, but that's no, not really them. No. Never been catfish. I tried one time, but no. Well, I must be one unlucky person. I've <laughs> <laughs> been catfished a couple times, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, let's see another one. Oh, okay. This one comes from Damian Jones. He's coming from Philadelphia, right. uh, Pennsylvania. Mm. He asks, never have you ever mixed rat snacks with a milkshake? Well, I've been a long time since I ate rat snacks, so no, I never did that before. Would you try? Probably just for the fun of it. Oh, yeah, yeah this. <laughs> God, today. Hey, man, I had work, so it don't. Yeah, so. Chips in a milkshake, I can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Hey, okay, people did fries inside a milkshake, so why not? Yeah, have... but I think chips, I mean, kind of come I from the same family. family. Yeah, like, but I just think the whole form, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, we got another never have I ever question. Okay, uh, never have you ever lurked on a crush's social media account. Plenty of times, plenty of times. I need to see what I can get myself into if something do happen. So yeah, I definitely did that plenty of times. So, Recently? Yeah. <laughs> actually, okay. today, actually. You feel okay. So, yeah, I definitely did okay. plenty of times. Okay. Um, okay, no shame my game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see one. Uh, another one. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate to this. Never have, okay, this comes from Jeremy Fells. He's coming from Lansing, Michigan. Shout out to Jeremy. Shout he asks, never have you ever been followed in a store? A store? Mm -hmm. Like a corner store, convenience store, like been followed. Like for like, somebody I don't know, or just any. Oh, uh, I would think he was talking like the store owner following you. Oh yeah, plenty of times, man. Again, that's a problem nowadays in these little areas, you know, because people really think about it. For I like, have money! <laughs> You're right, 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 right. <laughs> Especially, but people really think about it like, oh, you mean? Black yeah. and because of where we come from yeah. and how our generation has turned out being like, yeah, but yeah, I've definitely been followed plenty of times. I have too. I'm yeah. pretty sure a lot of people have. It, it, it irks us to a point like we just continue to scream out like, Most definitely. it's not me, like why me? Exactly. But you know, it continues to happen, but yeah. we try to make a difference and we're going to, it's going to change, but it seems so hard and it's like it's never going to happen, but we're going to make it happen. All right, we're going back to would you rather questions. All right, let's find one. <laughs> All right, this one comes from Vashti. Uh, Vashti actually sent a lot of questions at me. Like I said, from Vashti, she is actually from Baltimore. Shout so, out to Vashti. Yeah, shout out to Vashti. She asked, would you rather go without brushing your teeth for seven months or <clears throat> not washing up for three months? <laughs> nah, man, I got it. I mean, we're all open from the question, so I have to clean. ask. I have to ask. I gotta stay clean. I mean, that's what they brought me stuff for, so I definitely will go a whole quite some time and I'll brush my teeth. Pause. <laughs> so, okay, I understand you have to wash, but you just walk around with yellow teeth, plank all over your teeth. <laughs> Spinach, greens, and stuff with your teeth. Just hey, pop man, bro, I'm just smelling, man. I can't go without washing up. Like, I gotta stay clean. You okay. Know? Like, I got people to impress. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah they don't want to see you with stained teeth either with foodie. Oh, no, I see. Thank you. I barely talk anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'll see another one. Uh, ah! This one comes from a close friend of ours. Uh, 
His name is Kenneth Campbell. He's from Baltimore, Maryland. Shout out to Kenny. Yeah, shout out to Kenny. Ken Bishop, he also liked to be named too. Ken Bishop, so shout out to Ken Bishop. Uh, the question he asked, this is actually a scenario. Okay. So, you're in a tag team match. Right. So, for you pro wrestling fans, this okay. is yeah, kind of yeah, on your yeah, level yeah, if you were really, you know, yeah, yeah. 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 got a little pro wrestling, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're in a tag team match and you're fighting for the tag team titles. Right. And you're at WrestleMania. Right. The grandest stage of them all. Right. And, and the stipulation is a two out of three falls match. Right. And you have to pick a partner. <laughs> Would you rather have Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, as the partner or Roman Reigns? <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Before I even <laughs> before I <laughs> See, ladies and gentlemen, when you know your answer is going to upset listen, the listen, audience, listen, listen, this listen. is when you just prep yourself for anything <laughs> before I even make an answer. You can't even get it up because you know. I just want to let all you pro wrestling fans know that, hey, sometimes you just got to make a hey, decision that's best for you. Can't wait to hear this. And as of right now, I love Starco. He's a WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all time greats. But. Like the future is here, and right now I'm looking at the future. So as of right now, I'm gonna pick Roman Reigns. What? Not only that, but he's my favorite wrestler as of right now. Oh so I'm definitely gonna pick Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, you just heard this from Mr. Roman Reigns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
<laughs> hey, if that's what your strategy is, cool. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, another question we have is from Never Have You Ever. <laughs> All right, this one comes from Laurel Dipper, and she's from Arlington, Texas. So, Never have you ever sexed an ex? Like, are you talking about when we were dating or? Yeah, like she's your ex now. Like, have you, never have you ever like sent a sex text to your ex? Uh, maybe probably one time. I'm sorry, like, hey, you want me to be honest? I'm being That's honest. One time, one time, one time. Okay. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> it's a, okay. Okay. I'm just going to leave that alone. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, never had, oh, this is from Vashti again. Thank you, Vashti, for all the questions as well. Uh, Vashti asks, never have you ever met a celebrity in person? I've met a couple celebrities in person, but. Oh, yeah, I've met a few celebrities. Who? Fires. Hold on, I'm trying to remember this. This is crazy because like I really uh our former governor of Maryland and Martin O'Malley, I met him before in person. Um I seen Obama in person, but I never actually, you know, got a chance to talk to him, but I did see him in person before. <laughs> uh a few NFL players like Ray Laws, you know, I met a few celebrities in person before. Anyone from the music lane? A local or any well um like the greats like um superstars of music maybe uh no not really okay surprising all right um let me see one never have you ever been to a concert like a music concert uh no nah. if you were to go to one which concert would it be and why um Certain music I listen to, so I'm a fan of. Uh, but I'd probably say, probably from now to the past, going to Greece, like Lil Wayne, you know, Jay Z, you know, uh, um, what else? Local, well, not local, but he is an upcoming rapper, Lil Dirt. I'd probably, you know, just. Oh, I did. Dirk already did. He said that. He that. said that. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, I shouldn't even say her name. I mean, we've done mentioned her name so many times. <laughs> Ashti, thank you. Yeah, um, <laughs> Real MVP. <laughs> yeah. She asks, never have you ever mistakenly waved at someone because you thought they were waving at you? No. I think like that happened to me. Probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Yeah, that happened to me multiple times. Yeah. That's why I tell this day, I just stay chill, stay cool, and like look first for the privacy. You know what I'm like? Yeah, yeah. Kind of weird, bro. Yeah. Oh, I thought like, you was making me feel embarrassed, especially if you're around a lot of people. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That made me feel Where did the meat go? Yeah. Oh, him. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, we want to end up maybe three, four more, but that's cool with you. No one holding your time. We know you're busy and all. So, anyway, all right, this comes from. Stephen Jones, uh, and he's coming from Portland, Oregon. All right, all right, all right. He asks, "Would you, would you know? Yeah, would you rather time travel or read minds?" Time travel or read minds? Like fast forward? Probably anyone. I mean, I know a lot of people would probably do past just to change. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely would time travel. You know, I'd love to go back to the past and change quite a few things. Yeah, right. But I definitely use that though. Can you elaborate on some of the stuff that you would have to change? Um, not really get too emotional and too deep into it, but probably like lost loved ones. Watch you know some mistakes I made as far as meeting people and some stuff I regret doing, you know, just all the same. It's like I'm not a bad person, but I'm just saying like, you know how when you meet people that you wish that you had never met? Yeah, you know, I probably Oh, we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I definitely will go back in time, sure. Okay. Um, we have one from Jason Taylor. He asks. Sound familiar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't know if that's the same Jason Taylor I think you know. I don't know. Yeah. He asks, would you rather write or produce for Drake or the Migos? So Drake or Migos is the option. Oh, but would you rather write or produce for them? I definitely produce for Drake, man. I've been a big time Drake fan for years, but yeah, I definitely support Drake over the Migos. I mean I ain't got nothing against the Migos, it's just I actually knew Drake before I actually knew the Migos, so yeah, I definitely do. So it's just some okay, I'm gonna ask you it's a two point. Is there a reason why you pick Drake over me always? And also, is there a reason why you say produce for Drake other than rank one? I mean, it really don't matter why I do that if I produce or write. I just, you know, say so you pick Drake over the Migos any day for the, not no ordinary reason, just, just because I was about to enjoy the music way longer than before I was about the Migos, that's probably why. Okay. Yeah, probably about it. Um, another question we have uh, before we wrap it up. Right. Um, would you rather get bitten by a tarantula or a raccoon? Yeah, I forgot if it was a tarantula. Spider. Spider. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't feel it's a spider, so I definitely would get bitten by a spider. You know, if I, that's where I'm trying to be spider, man. So, like, that's like, I'm just joking. But for real, though, I would uh, rather get it. Get by the spider. Hey, raccoons got really too much. I feel like that. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think we might end it up with this last one. All right. All right. All right. Um, all right. Another scenario, and this comes from Troy Simmons. He's coming from Jacksonville, Florida. All right. All right. So the scenario is you're playing GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 5, the game of all time, and also Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I, I think it's one of the time. best Grand Theft Auto games. I'm a GTA fan. Like. And you can literally become one of the characters, but in game form, of course, animated form. Uh, and you have to save yourself in a purge. So, which character would you choose between CJ or Trevor? Oh, uh, man, I definitely. Not against CJ, because I respect CJ. Like, that's my boy. But I definitely would have to pick Trevor because he is just crazy, like beyond fast crazy. Like he will, like you don't care what it is, who you is, like he will do anything to survive for us. So I definitely would choose Trevor over CJ. Nothing against CJ, I'm just saying. I'd rather pick Trevor yeah. because he seems more of a badass than CJ. So. Well, Mr. Warren, thank you for your visit at House of Colors. Hope you enjoyed enjoy your time. time. All right, yeah, all right. You know, hopefully, next time we can sit down with the entire yeah, RLE Empire. Shout out to my boy, Dino. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to Dory. Shout out to Jazz. Shout out to my own great man. Let me all just doing our thing and our own thing. Play back people for real. So, does it elaborate to the people what RLE stands for? Oh, well, RLE stands for respect for everything. You know, we're not gang related, no vibes, no matter that. Like, you just straight up. Like we just wanted to come up and move our own thing and move it to a different direction. You know, I'm not saying that every single group will move to the same direction, but not talking about too many they will, but at the same time, like we just wanted to come up with our own little thing. And I have probably like three more questions, but this is like two questions for you. What's that mm -hmm. up? Were you guys working on any projects for maybe the Black Lives Matter movement or anything you've related or just push the culture um, in the world um, of everything that's happening in the world? Um, I mean, basically just... Will you guys work on anything or anything in the works already? Um, but like I said, the creator of uh, my boy Daniel, he actually has written on this rap song that he's basically talking about his life, how he grew up, how his childhood, and how times was tough for him. And this is going to be real interesting too, so like I said, um, you can follow me on Instagram at underscore underscore all you want. Or follow at That's House two of Colors. That's two Two. Two underscores. Or follow at House of Colors, you know, and we'll keep y'all posted for us when he do finish the song. But yeah, he definitely working on a deep song that comes from his heart. Okay. So other than that, what are you guys working on for communities and for the youth? Or oh, just... You guys plan on working on? Oh, but we just trying to um, work on some merchandise, you know, trying to... Um, you know, just really want some clothing, open, you know, to give out to people who want us to help support us. And um, just basically supporting the community and being there for one another, you know, really 
you just helpful people, okay? Because again, like, respectful people, like you do anything under like, the word respect, so yeah. So, so we definitely got a lot of like, plans this year, though. Uh, the year just came, so we definitely got a lot of plans this year. So what's next for one? Um, just laying back, continue living the life, working, you know, hanging out with the fam. Oh, and by the way, my birthday coming up in like 19 days, so I you will be. 19. 19. <laughs> 19. So I definitely will uh, be posting pics and videos and tuning in for that. And that's a blessing that you're doing. You're, you're 18 now. Yeah, a lot man. of people can't see that age. That's a blessing. Yeah, right? man. Yeah, like I said, every time I think about it, it just makes me feel a little emotional because I really made it this far. Like, after everything I've been through from a tough childhood, growing up without a father, because my father died at when I was a young age. Like, yeah. it's just been a tough journey for me. And, most people don't see that because again, everybody or someone might have been through the similar thing back at the end of the day. Like, it's been a tough time for me, and all I've been doing is just overcome it and continue to see. Well, oh, man, what I can tell you, man, just keep going forward, think positive, and never stop. Always motivate yourself, even in the, the darkest times. Stuff. Continue to illustrate the beauty through the darkness. Stuff. Do whatever. God is on your side. Always put God first. That spirit of of, 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 of his life will always shine brighter than anything in this world. So just continue to remember that. Just continue to be yourself. Don't matter what nobody says, be yourself. Always love yourself. And um, just take those words with me, man, and just say, yo, go for it, because I know you will, right? right. So as we end in this, man, uh, like I say, it's Entree, House of Colors. Dream bigger than anyone imagined. Never let no one make you feel in cage. The world is here. Just take it.